Hello everyone and welcome to this Planet Zoo Aquatic Pack Overview video in which I'm going to show you all the new animals included in the new pack. If you want to see all the new building pieces make sure you check out the building pieces overview video on the channel. There is a link in the top right corner right now. So I hope you guys are excited for this and let's jump right into it. First of all, a huge thank you to the developers for providing me with early access so I was able to record this video before the DLC was launched. So when this video comes out, the DLC is available on Steam for €9.99 if you're from Europe, if you're from the UK, £7.99 or if you're from the US, $9.99. So in this video, I'm first going to show you the animal needs, just the uh, a simple habitat that we uh, that was included in this pack for these animals. I'm just going to go through the stats and then in the end, I'm just going to leave you guys with some cinematics of the new animals so you can just relax and, uh, and watch them going. So first of a animal, a lot of people were excited about this little giant otter. I'm calling it a little giant otter because it's still quite a small, uh, small animal. And you can already see the new swimming animation. So these animals can swim on water. They can dive. They can use the feeder that you can see in the back right now. And they uh, are really a lovely little animals. So we created this little habitat for these animals. This habitat is actually included as a blueprint in this uh, in this new pack. So just let's take a look at the needs of these animals. So they do need a little bit more uh, land area. I, d I don't know why, but these uh, habitats that were included are not really suited for these animals. But we will uh, we will take a look at that later on. Uh, they need a bit of uh, grass, long grass, soil, and stuff like that. They need a little a little bit more sand as well. Uh, the environment, these animals are coming from South Central America. They can use the aquatic grassland and tropical plants. One thing I'm all, always curious about is uh, how many animals I can put into one habitat. So that you can put a lot of these animals into one habitat, which I always really enjoy. So you can uh, really have uh, like a lot of animals going on in your habitat, a lot of swimming. And uh, you will actually have something to watch instead of like only two animals into uh, into one habitat so in this habitat there's a little uh, shelter space included as you can see they will uh, they will use it and uh, they walk a little bit funny but i just guess uh, that's the uh, that's the actual animations because the developers always do a really amazing job on that uh, there are apparently some plants that they don't like in this habitat but uh, yeah that's basically it for the giant otter again there will be a lot of cinematics included in the end of the video. So if you want to check that out, there's a timestamp down in the description. Next up, probably my favorite, the king penguin. I'm really excited about this one. I really wanted to have the penguins in my zoo. So I'm I'm really happy to have these. Yeah, again, you can see the new diving animations really looks cool. I was excited about that. Uh, if you put the animals into your habitat first, they don't really dive. But like after a few minutes, they really go down on the water and they start swimming and they won't stop swimming so that's really cool that was uh, i was hoping for so you will have a nice underwater viewing area for the guests and uh, they can you know just have a look at these animals swimming around over here you can also see the new feeder that was included in this pack the underwater box feeder or actually it was inside in the new free update so uh, a little bit more animals can use it i think the south water crocodile or something can also use it but yeah the penguins will uh, will definitely use this and as you can see this habitat was also included in the uh, in the new pack but i had do have one comment about it if you open up this habitat you can see they can't really use anything of it i had to remove a little bridge that was down there otherwise they wouldn't even be able to start swimming here so i'm not sure for which animal this habitat was supposed to be i don't know maybe they will fix it when the dlc actually comes out because this is early access so there might be a few bugs that i uh, that i encountered that you guys won't be able to see at all as you can see you can put a lot of penguins into one habitat i think you can put around 500 of them into one habitat i put in 24 and the counter didn't even go to the right a little bit so i think it was around 500 we can check that out uh let's take a look 
King Penguin pieces data. Yeah, up to 500 males, up to 500 females. So if you want to destroy your computer, you can put 500 uh, penguins into uh, into one habitat. You can see they uh, they enjoy their food. They are already coming towards the uh, the keeper to get their fishy uh, the fishy meal. Then the animal needs the terrain work. They need uh, a bit more land than they have right now. They need a little bit more swimming area. And something that was new, I didn't mention it with the otters, but there's also four meter deep water area. So the water needs to be at least four meters deep. And then there's actually a volume of water that they would need. So not, some, not an area, but a volume of water that they, uh, they would need for that. Um, so the deep water over here, it looks, uh, it looks okay. But uh, over there, it's not, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> They need a little bit uh, less long grass than is uh, in the habitat right now, but short grass. They don't really have much needs. You can put uh, a lot of snow in, of course, that would uh, fit these animals, which are actually from Antarctica. And uh, you can already see that South Central America, Antarctic and Oceania. And you can only use the aquatic and tundra biome plants. Of course, there are also some uh, toy enrichment items you can use. There are a few more enrichment items included in this pack, like the um, like the little duct, for example, that you can use. But you can see that in the other video with all the building pieces, I will explain all the uh, enrichment items in there as well. So if you want to see more of the King Penguin, make sure you check out the timestamp in the description for all this cinematic view, so you can uh, just watch them swimming around, which is uh, which is really nice to see. So next up, we have the gray seal, another amazing animal. And I was really hoping that it would spend a lot of time underwater. I didn't really see it yet, but maybe we will see it in a, in a few seconds because I didn't really take a look at these animals yet, but I will uh, try to include it, of course, in the cinematics in the end. Um, but yeah, amazing animals. They are quite big. I was not expecting that, but that's uh, probably really realistic. Actually, a animal that would live in the Netherlands. I've seen a lot of them in, uh, in on the islands of the Netherlands in the northern part. Uh, we really have a lot of great seals over there. So it's really cool that we uh, finally have a, uh, a animal that I uh, actually saw in my uh, very own country. But I love what they did with the, uh, with the animations. You can see it on the back over there. They are uh, walking around and uh, going inside the water. But the problem with the deep diving might be this habitat. Again, again, I had to remove a lot of rocks. So this habitat was not uh, made for the gray seals as well. So <laughs> I don't know which animal it was made for. But, but maybe people can tell me. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. So as you can see, they need a little bit more land area. They need a lot more swimming area. Of course, uh, these animals probably spend most of their time in the water. Um, they need less long grass, a lot of rock and a lot of sand. That's what I was actually expecting for, uh, for these kind of animals. They can use the North America and Europe um, foliage. And then you can use the temperate tundra and aquatic ones. There are not really any enrichment items in this habitat right now. I might have probably deleted it while I was deleting uh, all the rocks. Uh, but you can put up to, uh, it looks like, eight animals into one habitat, which is really nice. I, uh, I love that. So not only two animals, but you can put a lot more into one habitat. Next up, we have these little guys, the dwarf caiman. I'm not sure if I uh, pronounced it correctly. Let me know. Uh, but another crocodile species and a very, very small one. I really like that they uh, they added these little animals. And I hope this habitat is suited for them, actually. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look. Navigatable land area, which is all fine. Swimming area is all fine. And uh, yeah, all the needs are here for these little guys. For the environment, uh, we only have to remove this little uh, plant species. And they are all good with that. So they can use South Central America foliage, grassland, temperate and tropical and also aquatic. Of course, some enrichment items that are in there which they can use, but you can only put two of these animals into one habitat. I tried it. I put four in first, but uh, yeah, that didn't really work. But look at that. They are just really, really small little crocodiles. Again, the, uh, the developers did a really good job on the animations and on the textures on these uh, animals. So um, I'm really happy with this cool a little addition to the game. And last but not least, this pack also includes a new exhibit animal, which is called the Diamondback Terrapin, which are these little turtles. I was really hoping that they would uh, add something like this in the game. You would always see that in a zoo. You will have a nice exhibit building full of these little 
kind of creatures and uh, i'm really hoping to get more very very soon but yeah let's hope let's hope uh, so i can't wait to use these kind of exhibits you can see they look a lot different from uh, from what we have seen before so the ones that we had before were only reptiles with like a a lot of foliage in it and um, they would uh, dig into the ground something like that so no water at all but right now you can watch them swimming around i guess it's not really moving i'm not sure if the animations are included uh, but yeah you can see the animals right there and right over there one other thing i would like to show you guys is this little uh temperature regulator so Besides the actual temperature inside the habitat, you also have to regulate the temperature of the water. Now, for example, the penguins didn't really like the warm water, so I had to put one of these down. So, uh, yeah, the, this water temperature regulator will regulate the water temperature inside this habitat. So for now, I'm just going to leave you guys with a lot of cinematics of these animals. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Also, make sure you check out the other video in which I will show you all the building pieces included into this pack. Again, this pack is now available on Steam, so make sure you get it. It really is a nice new experience and a lot of new features to the game. So if you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. And if you didn't do it already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on anything new. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.
Let's go, 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 let's go